it's just so humbling to be honored with this award and really means more than I can put into words. Of course, I came into college with goals for myself. Never did I think I would be receiving an honor like this one. And I know I've put a lot of work in over the past couple years and made sacrifices to get where I am today and to achieve some of the things that I have achieved. It's just crazy to see what came out of it in the end. Before I came into college, I thought I wasn't really even capable of playing sports in college, let alone at Division II. And I just think going from that mindset to where I am now, I think that's it's just proof that if you put enough time and dedication into things that you can surprise yourself with what you can achieve. The support is coming from all directions of the university, whether it's from coaches, teammates, the athletic department, professors, just honestly anyone who was involved with Marigold University, even alumni. And there's just a constant balance of acknowledging academic excellence along with athletic achievements. And I think that's really important that it was never forgotten that the reason you came to college was to get a good education. And I think that's just great that our athletics acknowledges how much academic actually means. One thing that's special for me is the fact that I was able to compete in two sports that I love and not many universities offer that opportunity to athletes. But since there's so much support across the board, especially for me to pursue both track and field and soccer, I think that's definitely a special thing that Millersville has that not all universities do. I'll give you two, one for soccer and one for track. During soccer, the game in our first round of NCAA playoffs against East Stroudsburg, the feeling of winning that game is indescribable. For getting to that moment of the season, and then executing what we needed to execute. That's a game that I will never forget. Of course, on the track side of things, I won't forget either of the 4x400 meter relay races that I was able to be part of that were the conference champions. Might not have been the best memory of actually running the 400, but uh, the feeling of watching my teammates run and afterwards is a moment that I will never forget. And achieving something that we all set our minds to with a great group of girls is just a feeling that you can't get anywhere else. I know everyone always says this, but I just don't think it can be reiterated enough. Just enjoy the time you have as a student athlete and take advantage of the opportunities you are given. You never truly know when your last game or practice will be, so I just make sure to cherish all the time you have with your teammates and just the sport itself. It's another piece of advice that I always uh, lived by as an athlete. You know, you might not be the, always be the most talented individual, but there's no excuse for not being the hardest working one. Just in general, I would like to thank my family, uh, especially my parents and my siblings, and then not only those immediate family members, but also my extended family. I know I had an aunt and uncle that always came to all, almost all my games that they could. I just really appreciate just knowing that people are there and curious as to what I'm doing. Another person that I would like to thank, his name is Joel. He's always my biggest supporter, honestly, and some would also consider him my personal trainer. He'd be the one to take me out for soccer and, and train me and push me. And, you know, he always saw bigger and better things for me than I could see for myself. For my coaches, Honestly, words alone are not enough to thank the coaches I have been blessed to have. On the soccer side of things, I want to personally thank Proko for taking a chance on recruiting me. He didn't know much about me coming in here, and honestly, just taking that chance and giving me the opportunity to play at Millersville is something I could never thank him for enough. And for track and field, I want to thank Andy for even asking me if I would like to join the track team as well, since I was already conveniently coming to Millersville. And then I want to thank my sprints coach, Akil, for being so understanding after each soccer season. He goes above and beyond coaching by providing life advice and truly wants to see each and every athlete be successful not only in, in athletics, but more importantly in, in life. In all, I'm very grateful for all the people I have mentioned, and even the ones that were not mentioned, I want to thank you.